After watching this video, you'll know how to create a seamless Instagram carousel in Canva. It requires a few tricks and tools, but it's all here in this video, including a template that I made for you. You're going to love this. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I share practical advice to build your brand. Today, I'm in Medellin, Colombia, and I'm gonna show you how to create a seamless Instagram carousel. For this, I'm gonna use Canva, which is a good tool for this project. You could also use Photoshop or any other photo editor, but I prefer to keep things simple and easy to replicate in the future. This will work on Canva's free plan as well as their paid plan. And if you're not signed up yet for Canva, I'm gonna link to that in the description below. By the way, if you're new here, welcome. I create a lot of videos like this one on content creation, personal branding, and more. Hit subscribe, better yet, hit that bell to be notified when I post next. I feel like it's gonna be easier for me to show you this step-by-step -step on my computer, so I'm gonna switch over to that now and we will dive right in. Now, if you haven't yet, click the link in the description. You totally should, especially for this video where I'm giving you a free carousel template for Canva. Canva isn't really set up to provide an easy way to create seamless images, particularly for Instagram carousels, and that's why I created this template to help you out, okay? So what I've essentially done is I've created a single canvas Okay, that is exactly the same size as what would be five images across. In this particular case, and on Instagram, you can upload up to 10 individual images, which means I have two rows of 10. Now, if you plan on creating a carousel with fewer posts than that, no stress, just leave a few of these blank and you can discard them later. So there's no pressure to have to create with five or have to create with 10. The idea here is that you'll take my template, customize it with your own information and branding. If you look up close, I've created a little individual prompts on what you should probably do on that individual slide, okay? I also posted this as a template on my own Instagram. If we haven't connected over there, we should. It's at Phil Palin. And the idea here is that you're going to once again, update it with the information of whatever you want to teach or share, and then incorporate your own branding. So I've left lots of placeholders here, which you can delete, or you can drag images into place, update your fonts, add your social media handle, maybe in the bottom right corner, bottom left. Um, again, these are my fonts and stuff. So really, you just want to take this, customize it, and ideally what you do what you do is develop your own template moving forward. The first carousel post that you ever create is going to take the longest. I'm warning you, it takes a little bit of time, but once you get this down pat, you'll be able to duplicate previous carousels to be able to post quickly, and working from a template really helps with that. Now, seamless might be the keyword that got you to this video. It's the idea that you can post an image like this crumple of paper and actually have it appear as one image that spans between two separate images uploaded. And this is the way you're going to do it. I'll show you in a second the tool that you need to split this into five individual images. Really quick, just while I've got the content in front of me, I think three reasons you should be posting carousels. They help you build no like, and trust factor. People spend more time consuming a single post versus posting an individual image or a video. And Instagram rewards you because these types of posts keep people on Instagram longer. I mentioned here that my top performing carousel has over 11,000 saves. This post type performs so much better for me than any other content type, and that's why I continue to post them. So the last step that I want to share with you is to take one long image just like this and split it into individual squares like I'm showing here, okay? Again, these instructions are actually in the template, so you can follow them, but the link here is philp.al slash split. That's gonna take us to this handy tool called Pine Tools Split Image. This is not my website. I just shortened the link so that I remember how to get there quickly. You want to, once downloaded from Canva, you want to uh, choose the file here from your computer. You would then select here horizontally split the images, choose your output, JPEG, PNG, seem like 
they make the most sense. And then here you would just update the quantity of blocks to five. There are apps and other tools that you can use to split, but I find this one to be really super simple. It spits out the images individually, okay, in columns. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and download those. Move them over to your iPhone and write a caption. Choose some hashtags. Do a, you know, a multi-post post on Instagram and you are ready to go. It's just that simple. I'm really excited to see how you go with the template. My last little tip for you is to make sure you tag me in the final result. I'll be so proud of you and I can't wait to see your creativity to see how you remix this Canva template. Linked again in the description. There you go. That's how you make a seamless Instagram carousel in Canva. Don't forget the template that I will hyperlink to below. If you want more where that came from, I recommend checking out my course, Content Mastery. There are over 20 bite-sized videos that will teach you a content workflow that you can actually stick with. I've included a promo code to get it deeply discounted, my way of saying thanks for hanging out with me today. And if you've got any other lingering questions, comment with those below and we'll Keep the conversation going on down there, and I respond to those personally. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover this content that we work very hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm going to share a few videos that I think you'll be interested in. Instagram-related, of course. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching, and those videos are coming up next.